it's me, Robin, with Simple Food, Simple Life. Guess what? It's Monday, December the 11th, 2023. And Monday is my day to do my refrigerator and freezer inventory here in the kitchen. So, it's got to be done. Do I enjoy it? No. <laughs> but we got to be responsible. We got to be responsible for stuff. We have to be responsible. We got to look out after our flocks and herds. That's what I'm going to do. But I'm always glad when it's done. Now listen, you need to do this. If you don't, uh, if you don't do it, you're just going to lose money. You just may as well go out, put your money in a sack, and just throw it in the trash because that's the same thing. Okay. All right. So. That's what I'm going to do. Now, pick a day. It doesn't matter what day it is. It doesn't make any difference what day it is. Just pick a day that's convenient for you. It doesn't even have to be the same day of the week, although it's good to get in the habit. And just do your refrigerator and your freezer inventory. Your refrigerator, because things spoil very quickly if you don't look after them. Your, your freezer, because you need to rotate your stock. And every now and again, give your pantry a gander and see what's in there. Because how many times have you gone out and you have bought things that you already have? Uh, well, yeah. Yes, we have done that. And go, oh, I didn't know I already had it. Yes. So, we have to be responsible. Let's do it. You might be amazed at what you have that you can eat. If you're by yourself, if you're a struggling student, if you're alone in the world, if you have big families or little families or you're elderly or young, it doesn't make any difference. Take it from me. Do your refrigerator and your freezer inventory. You need to do it. So, okay, I'm going to get started and let's see what surprises we have today. <laughs> um I, I'm sorry that I, I didn't do myself up for you because I didn't want to. I'm old. Nobody's looking at me anyway. Okay, come on, let's get it done. Okie dokie, this is the stuff out of my refrigerator. So, let's see what we've got. Okie doke, these are all of the fresh fruit and vegetables I have in the refrigerator. <clears throat> fresh being the optimal word there. Uh, here is some chopped uh, green onion or spring onion as some people call them. I've got two oranges and I've got some celery that I already cut and it's been in this container. Now what I'm going to do um, they're starting to look a little bit sad, so I'm going to take out the best ones. There's nothing rotten or bad in here. I'm going to take out the best ones, save them for some cream cheese and some peanut butter probably, and um, chop up the other ones and put them in a freezer bag and use them uh, in soups or stews or whatever. Okay, so that's the fresh fruit and vegetables. Now, this is the cheese that I have left. I've got a, one slice and a partial slice. I use this sometimes to give my little dog her medicine. And I've got one full thing of uh, cream cheese, and this is all of the mozzarella I have left. <laughs> that's it. That's all it is. I, I've got uh, two partial cans of the whipped dairy topping. From Aldi, <clears throat> I have, this is all I have left of my hot cocoa. If you haven't seen that video, you should watch it. Because um, you can learn how to make old-fashioned hot cocoa. And, <clears throat> these are all the eggs I have left. <clears throat> this was an 18-pack. So, that's what I've got left. Um, and that's plenty, plenty, plenty. I've got two uh, quarts or almost two quarts of the soup that I did yesterday. This will definitely get eaten this week. Um, 
If you haven't watched the video, it's the last video I did, which was, oh, happy day soup day. You should watch it because it might give you some good ideas on how to use what you have to make some soup. This is actually chicken broth. Um, I cooked some um, chicken breasts in the um, air fryer, or excuse me, in the crock pot. <laughs> so confusing. And um, this was the broth that was rendered off of that. And um, I cooked those for uh, myself and um, also for the critters. And um, this is the broth that was left, so I'll be able to make really good use out of the broth. Actually, I, I need to make some rice, so I will probably um, cook the rice in this broth. And that way uh, I can have it for my little doggy and I can have it for myself as well. Now then, I've got uh, two, uh, one container and one partial container of the chicken fried rice. I made a video on that. You guys should watch that because, I mean, you need to know how to do this because you don't need leftover rice to make chicken fried rice. So I've got this container, which I will continue to eat. I have this container. Um, this past weekend, we uh, went to my granddaughter's um, um show that they had at the university and again we went two weekends in a row it was awesome and um she was a she not only danced she was a choreographer in a dance and it was beautiful um i'm not bragging or anything but i kind of am and i got to see my other granddaughter because she attends university there as well and it was awesome it was an awesome uh saturday all together awesome okay but this rice um I'm going to, um, oh, and I said that because I meant to tell you that um, Friday night, uh, my younger daughter and I, we had the chicken fried rice. We had some Dollar Tree pot stickers and uh, egg, egg rolls, and <laughs> that was a great, delicious meal, I have to say. But anyway, I'm going to put this in some freezer bags and um, have it for later so I can have some freezer meals. And here I have one 8-ounce uh, hamburger patty. I'm going to actually divide this up and I'm going to cook it. I'm going to pop it in the freezer because I'm not going to eat it right away. And I don't want to leave it raw in the refrigerator. So it's going to get used up. Use what you have. Uh, these potatoes I actually did in the microwave this morning. Um, I wanted to add some to my little dog's chicken. Uh, this, these are going to get sliced up and they will get um, fried. If you've never had a pre-cooked potato that you have fried up, it is awesome and delicious and takes no time at all to cook. I probably have a video on that as well. This is all the bread products I have in the refrigerator. I've got a package of um, Dollar Tree hamburger buns. Uh, they're really good if you've never tried them at $1.25. And this, actually, this bread came from Dollar General. So I've got this, this left. This is my bread. I keep my bread in the refrigerator for various reasons. So you do whatever you want to do, but I keep mine in the refrigerator. Okie doke. I put the potatoes in a full top sandwich bag. I've got the rice, the chicken fried rice, ready for the freezer in a quart size freezer bag. I sorted through the celery. This is the one I'm going to eat this week with either cream cheese, peanut butter, or just eat it because it's good. And um, this is the chopped up celery for the freezer. I drug out my handy dandy Aldi chopper, made quick work of that. Uh, now, I just want to mention to you guys, I do still use the Dollar General um, freezer bags that cost a dollar. Down the dollar aisle, check your dollar aisle. Also, these sandwich bags are great. I still buy them as well. All right, now on to the freezer. Okay. I forgot to mention to you, I found these three hot dogs. I had three hot dogs left in the freezer or refrigerator inventory. So I stuck them in the air fryer and I will be eating those. 
this week and my little doggy will like them as well. Now let's look at all my Dollar Tree stuff that's in the refrigerator in the freezer. Uh, I've got peas and carrots. I have some Santa Fe blend, which is very good. I've got these um, opened bags of Dollar Tree frozen vegetables. Here's the stir fry blend. This is the seasoned blend, and this one is what is this one? Oh, cut green beans. Okay. The reason I have them in the larger zip bag is because if all of these opened bags were floating around in my freezer, I would go insane. So that's why they're consolidated. I would. I would go insane and then they'd get lost and I wouldn't find anything and then it would get freezer burned and, well, you know. Um, I have some pork pot stickers and I have two shrimp egg rolls uh, that are from Dollar Tree which are really really good I'm trying the Tina's Big Burritos I got two of them um, two beef and bean actually so I'm gonna probably slide these in the bag with the egg rolls and then I have two uh, banquet sausage and gravy deep dish pies um, Rebecca from Dollar Tree Dinners recommended these and I wanted to try them because I mean come on who wouldn't like sausage gravy and I don't know in a pie <laughs> she said they're good and this is one of my favorites from Dollar Tree it's the barbecue chicken sandwich it is really good it's a it's a chicken patty uh, it's not breaded and it's got barbecue sauce on it and uh, it's really good so sometimes they're just handy to keep around and um, I've got some uh, Dollar Tree English muffins. These are really good, and the reason why I like them is because they're, they're thin, and uh, I can keep them in the freezer and use them however I like. So that's all the Dollar Tree stuff in the freezer. Am I going to eat all this stuff in the freezer this week? No, but it, I need to do inventory to know what I have so that I could pull forward things that maybe are older that need to be used and that way when I'm cooking or creating a, a dish of some kind I know what I have in the freezer okay I've got a few lime juice cubes left and I also have some lemon cubes left I didn't pull the lemon cubes but I do have these um, I keep them in the little basket in the freezer I've got two containers of spaghetti left so I will be using those and if you have not seen the spaghetti roll up video you should because it's, they're really good and I ate them all <laughs> these are the uh, potato and bean and cheese um, burritos I just tucked them back in the bag when I stuck them in the freezer and I've actually got one thawing out right now because I'm going to eat that as my first meal of the day and so I like to thaw it out a little bit before I put it in the air fryer so I have these I have a half of a package left of Rhodes um, frozen we call it homemade frozen bread dough um, I use a there's 24 in a pack they were on sale I bought them and I used half of them for Thanksgiving dinner and they are awesome so there's 12 left. I have one frozen bell pepper. I've got a package of frozen carcass from the turkey. That's going to become broth. I've got homemade chicken strips. Now these were part of the um, part of the chicken breast that I cooked up in the in the uh, crock pot blah, 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 blah. <laughs> but I took uh, some of the strips because I cut up the breasts while they were raw and um, some of them became nuggets for the uh, Chinese dinner my daughter and I had chicken nuggets and these are some strips that were left so I floured them with the remainder of the seasoned flour froze them uh, in a pan and put them in this bag so I can have chicken strips whenever I want them that's a good way to do it. Use up your stuff. 
Um, these are the burgers left from my Great Depression video, how mom made uh, fed us. And um, I ate one, it's awesome. And I will be eating these this week, some of these, because they're really good. And um, they actually have a meatloaf-like flavor to them. And um, so I actually eat this kind of like a meatloaf sandwich, it's awesome. And here's a thing for you. Surprise, surprise. It's a bag of diced frozen tomatoes. <laughs> yes, I have them in my freezer. Isn't that awesome? So that is basically, that's basically what I have in the freezer. Okay, I am all done with my refrigerator freezer inventory slash clean out here in the kitchen. I want you to know that if you just set aside a, set aside a time every week to do this, uh, it's less and less work and to, until it actually really isn't any work at all. And you can take a few minutes and just wipe down your, your refrigerator as you go. Uh, it's really easy, but if you do it consistently, it becomes much, much easier because things don't build up and you don't look at it with dread. Um, I don't enjoy, I've never liked cleaning out the refrigerator. Uh, it's not a chore that I enjoy, but I realized over the years that if you just do it consistently, just once a week, get in there, see what you've got, do your inventory, it gets easier and easier and it actually is less time consuming. It takes less time. It wouldn't take me nearly as long if I weren't showing you um, what I have. <laughs> so, and you know, you know you have time to do this because you know you're just sitting here watching the YouTubes. You know you are. So get up off of your keister and get in the kitchen and get it done. It's, it's not that difficult. Uh, we make a whole lot more of it than needs to be made. Okay. All right, that's it for me today. I love you guys. You know I do. I'm going to have a cup of coffee because I just want to. Okay, always remember that little is much when God is in it. Love ya. Bye-bye.